Hey everybody, hope you're all doing alright out there. So something slightly different today, but similar to things I've done in the past because I have an inquisitive mind. I've spent pretty much my whole life trying to learn as much as I can about how everything in the world works, from physics to mechanics to engineering to everything I can think of. If it grabs my interest, I'll learn about it. Now, side note to that and unrelated is that today I needed to clean this motorcycle chain. Don't worry, it's not going on a bike, I'm actually turning it to keychains. But when they come new, they are absolutely covered in this nasty grease and I don't have a parts washer. I thought, well, if I can't have a pump pumping washing solution onto a part to wash it, maybe I could move the part through the solution and that would give me a cleaning method. And for that reason, I strapped a drill to a desk with a bolt in it, with a sprocket on it, with a bucket of water and detergent and a uh, mini vice clamp as my speed controller. And as you can see here, Works perfectly. Goes up and down, round and round, washes the part. This is not what this video is about. Because of who I am, I decided to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster, and that's when I started noticing something really interesting. I'm going to adjust my variable speed control, and we're going to start to notice something. So if we look close, you see the chain's coming up. Now if we go a bit faster, well, okay, now that's weird, because then I look like they're both going up. Okay, this is where it starts to get interesting. I'm not sure if this camera's gonna be able to cope with it. Oh, it should a little bit. So if you look now, you can see there's water actually traveling up the chain because I'm guessing the water is held in the gap in between. The surface tension is holding it there and the speed of the chain going up is actually fast enough to counteract the speed of it going back down. And we're at a perfect sort of point here. You can see it doing this. If we go a little bit faster, And a little bit faster. Now you can see the water starts to really ripple off of the chain. And it's coming back over. So in a way, this is actually a water pump. And with all the weight evenly distributed top to bottom, in theory, this could be quite an efficient system. I, I don't know what for, but you know. A little bit faster. Okay. I mean, it's doing a great job. Okay, now to get my phone out of the way, if we go a little bit faster. Okay, we are still inside the bucket. Now she's really going. <laughs> ah! So that's how I got a wet floor earlier on and learned about this. And it was just really interesting. Not only does it actually clean the chain really well. I had a look on YouTube for surface tension pump, chain pump, all sorts of things like that, and nothing came up. And as I say, if you did have a sprocket at the bottom, a sprocket at the top with a drive on it, because the chain's equally weighted, there isn't a huge amount of uh, energy used in spinning this, it actually can take quite a bit of water around. And as I say, I don't think there's any application for this where a normal pump wouldn't be more efficient, but it's just interesting to see. Uh, and as I say, it seems kind of counterintuitive, the fact that the water actually climbs all the way up with it and ends up pumping out like that. Okay, I'm going to try and get some slow-mo of this. Okay, it's at this point that you can see that the water is just like bubbling and rippling down it. And it looks kind of lumpy. Flow rate, flow rate, we need to know flow rate. I've got a one litre jug and a stopwatch. Go. Oh, nice. 
Hey, stop! Yeah! Oh my god, it's getting everywhere, I'm getting soaked. So, it just did a litre in 13 seconds. So, uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. This is just under 5 litres a minute at that speed, which was about half the possible RPM. 5 litres a minute through surface tension. Now, I've just thought, the thing is, this water is warm and extremely soapy. So it's going to have a much lower surface tension than normal clean water. I'm changing the water for clear water. Hold on. Okay, so I've now got perfectly clean water in the bucket. Are you jumping because you're not flat? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Why is it jumping now? I'm not sure. That's not the water doing that, surely. Now, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Stop slipping. Oh, well, I guess enough. Ah. Can we? I can't even stop it by. I'm grabbing the chain here. I think this shows that most of the water is definitely between the gaps. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say, really. That's what I discovered, and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I have a very soggy foot. But if you found this video at least interesting, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and if you want to help support this channel, then consider doing that through Patreon. But just know, I actually normally do motorcycle stuff, not washing chains. <laughs>